Good evening everybody and welcome to another episode of Finding Our Adventure. We have just arrived at Lake 32 and it is possibly the coolest park up we have ever parked at with our van. We are going to put some dinner on now, but tomorrow we have an action packed day full of lots of water adventures, water sports and cool things going on. So we'll pick it up tomorrow and see you then, ready for a day full of action. Good morning everybody, we've had a lovely night's sleep here on the lake and we even had breakfast delivered to our van door by the lovely team at Lake 32 which was amazing. It was a lovely bacon, sausage and eggs. Very delicious. Very delicious, so we're <laughs> nice and full and warmed up and ready for the day and I think we've got lots of activities planned today so we're probably going to do some paddle boarding this morning, maybe some canoeing and just have a really great day on the lake. Maybe even a swim. Yeah, maybe even a swim, if Hannah's uh, brave enough. I'm going to be filming, of course, so I won't I'll be go getting... in if you go in. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, the whole of the Cotswold Water Park is made up of over 180 lakes, which is, I think, um, 42 square miles in size, which is the size of Jersey. So it's a huge area, and there's loads of different lakes, loads of different activities you can do. Lake 32, the one that we're staying at, is open all year round. You can come and do cold water swimming, all sorts of stuff. So it's a really cool, close-knit community here. We've just been having a great time with them this morning. So we're going to crack on now and go have some fun. Yeah, and I didn't realise um, that there's all these lakes in the Cotswolds. When I think of the Cotswolds, I just think of all these like pretty villages and things. but. It's um, really cool to see all these outdoor activities that you can do at the Cotswolds as well. And um, like we said, the team here, Joe, Dan and Sarah, they're all really, really lovely. And there's just such a nice community feel. You see all the people arriving here. They've all just got smiles on their faces and they're just having a really good time. So great place to be, really happy to be here. And let's go have some fun. We're going to start off our morning on the paddle boards. It's a lovely still morning and I think we are all we're all kitted up, we're in our wetsuits and uh, luckily we had them in the van didn't we? <laughs> so we're all kitted up and we're gonna get on to the lake. Just got out on the paddle boards. It's a lovely, clear, calm morning. So it's the perfect morning for paddle boarding. I've just been doing some droning over Hannah on her paddle board. And now I'm gonna go and try catch her. She's way over there. So wish me luck, cause she's quite far out, but should be pretty straightforward. I just went around the island, which was really cool. I saw lots of little birds nesting on them and I scared them away. <laughs> it's such a nice morning. It's like the sun's trying to come out behind the clouds. And it's just so peaceful, isn't it? <laughs> we've just come in to this little entrance just over there and we're on this little island landed <laughs> landed on the island we've just made it onto the island and i think this is actually where they have um, some yoga classes um, throughout the summer and stuff on this little island. It's a pretty cool place. It's got like wind chimes everywhere and the views are going to be spectacular and it's such a cool little flat spot to come and do some morning yoga. So this is pretty cool, but Hannah's just wandered off into the bush. So I'm going to go find her now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not going to get in there just yet. It's so peaceful. I'd like my own island. You want to come and live on this tiny island? Yeah, it's nice isn't it? There's enough room for what you need, right? Yeah, you can totally build a little house here. Yeah, have a little boat, surrounded by birds. You just have to avoid them pooping on your head.
the bit that we're going to get the paddle boards out of is being guarded by about five swans and they're pretty big swans so um, hopefully they'll let us out of the water because they were getting pretty friendly yesterday and beating their wings this morning so hopefully they don't um, pop up at paddle boards. We've just come to explore the other end of the lake now, opposite end of the um, little island. And it's super calm here, because it's really sheltered, so the warm's like glass as we're gliding over it. It's really nice. And there's a bit of blue sky just popping out as well, so it's starting to feel a bit like spring, even though it's only just turned February. But um, yeah, it's really nice. We can't wait for summer now, especially to get our paddle boards out, get on the ocean, and enjoy nice warm weather. As you can see, we're back in the van and we've driven about five minutes down the road from the lake to a place called Lakeside Kitchen and Bar. And we're actually gonna have some really great lunch here. They serve like sushi and Asian style food. So we're really excited to go try out what they've got on offer. And then we're gonna head back to the lake this afternoon to try some canoeing. And the sun has come out as well. So we're really excited to get back to the lake and get back on the water. All right, we're gonna head into the restaurant now for some food. just inside the restaurant at the moment and we are going to be getting lots of small plates so we've got like a lot of selection here and um, I think we're going to leave it to them to give us some dishes. Okay so our next dish, oh, our next dish has just arrived and it's sashimi with um, tuna, salmon and bass. <laughs> Looks really good. We have just finished lunch and that was delicious. Oh yeah, it was like pure perfection. <laughs> we are <laughs> so stuffed right now. We ate, I don't know how many dishes we ate. So it was like really nice, nice little dishes and they came out and it was like sushi, like chicken. And it's just amazing, but we got mm. so stuffed. And he was the like- black cod. That yeah. was just, it just melted in we, your mouth. We let the staff choose which ones we were having and they were like, do you want any more? And we're like, we can't do any more with stuff. But <laughs> Highly recommend it here. Yeah. We've just got back to the lake and it's such a beautiful afternoon that we decided to take one of the canoes out and they've given us what they said is the best canoe and it looks really <laughs> cool. It looks like, like a Canadian canoe. Yeah, so, it does give, give you that kind of feel around here because there's a few little islands. Yeah, so we're going to find in Canada. head out onto the lake now and we're going to get the drone in the air and see what it's like from up there. Am I sitting in the front or the back? Yeah, you're sitting in the front. So is that the front? Yep. Maybe we should slide it in first. Well, how are you going to get into it? Well, I'm going to jump into it. I'm in. We're in. And now I'm going to pull you back. Oh yeah. Get in myself. <laughs> With your big heavy tortoiseshell pack on the back. having a lovely little paddle and the wind's quite breezy this afternoon so we we're getting blown towards the reeds so we just got away from there. Hannah's doing a great control controlling the canoe while I was flying the drone around which was quite challenging. I don't think we've ever flown a drone from a, a boat before so that was good fun um, but yeah we're just going to enjoy paddling around here for a little bit and then we'll go get back in the van and probably just have a relaxing afternoon and um, work off our, our food baby on the canoe from lunch. So how's it going Han? <laughs> We're kind of just. Right for you, isn't it? 
<laughs> We're just going around in circles at the moment. <laughs> I'm going pretty straight. Yeah, what I was saying was that it's harder to steer from the front, um, whereas I think it's a bit easier from the back. I think it's maybe to do with the angle, I don't know. I'm not really a technical person on this. But um, yeah, very peaceful on the lake now. It's almost four o'clock and it's starting to get a little bit darker. Um, but yeah, there's swans on this lake, geese, all sorts of other different birds that I, I'm not sure what they are, but just very peaceful on the lake. We've had such a great time here at Lake 32 and uh, I think it's going to be hard for us to leave here but the water has got such a calming uh, feeling and it just makes you feel so relaxed and uh, so many people come here, um, they were saying the team was telling us that a lot of people come here for um, if they struggle with like mental health problems and especially um, past kind of lockdown time um, a lot of people have found this place as like a I guess a refuge or somewhere that they can just come and um, yeah, just get into nature and just feel really peaceful so I can definitely see um, why and we've had a, just a really nice chilled time here haven't we? Oui, oui. <laughs> so yeah I would definitely recommend it if you're in the Cotswolds and um, you're nearby come and check Lake 32 out and uh, they've got all sorts of different sporting activities you can do or if you just want to go for a swim they also do yoga on the um, island there's just yeah there's something for everybody they've also started doing some photography classes I think as well um, and lots of people today were walking around taking pictures and there's just a really nice kind of happy community feel here so yeah I think if you come here you won't be disappointed it's really hard having a heavy camera bag on when you're paddling because it's like really restricts your shoulders. I see it from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> it really restricts your shoulders. Toys. And it's like, um, I don't know, it's like having, a, having someone sitting on your shoulders while you're trying to paddle. But uh, we're almost back now. Almost back to land. We haven't fallen in yet, which we is good. We did joke, because... didn't we, to bring one of the cats in here. Oh, yeah. No, we're not going to do that. We should go get tea. No. Love it. They'd have to wear a life vest. That's true. They're not going to be in they their size. They can swim. They can swim. Going towards a boy. Now, bye. Oh, I'm get out now. <laughs> okay, that's probably good. As long as I don't swim back. No, don't bend it. Don't bend it. Don't do that. Don't do that, John. Don't do that. Just crawl forward. Come on, Mr. Tortoise. <laughs> nice. Ah, on dry land again. Yeah. You look like quite the adventurer. I am the adventurer. I'm the captain of adventure. <laughs> Not really. But, um... So, Sarah, who works here, is about to get on one of the uh, power boats to go check the lake before they close up and she's invited us to come along with her. So we're going to go for a quick trip around the lake. We had quite a bit of rain last night but it's cleared a little bit this morning and the sun looks like it's trying to come out and I think it's gonna be sunny this, later this afternoon but we are now finished here at Lake 32 we've had such an amazing time everybody here has been so fantastic Joe Dan and Sarah they've really looked after us really well and we're actually gonna miss this place quite a lot so yeah I mean what a, what a place to come the Cotswold water park highly recommend it if you're in the area there's so much to do so many different activities there's so many different lakes to go and enjoy and experience different water activities so yeah definitely get down here if you can and experience the the great outdoors and um, yeah thanks for watching don't forget to leave a comment down below and as always the best comment wins a sticker and we'll see you guys in the next one